This uh, one is fantastic, and I'm gonna share it. Okay, it's I, not what I asked it for, but it's a it's a variation, and you're gonna get it. I need to see this. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Alex, something that I wanted to talk to you about, like, last month, uh, but then we got waylaid by, uh, let's see, Pal World, and then NextFest, uh, which yeah. caused some delays. It's been busy. Yeah. Uh, 2024 has been shaping up to be a strange year in gaming so far. Strange year? Strong year overall, I think. Uh, there's, well, I mean, there's been... so far? I mean, yes, strong, and then also sad. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're probably going to get into some of the sad stuff uh, in a later episode because, um, yeah, boy, a lot of people got laid off. Anyway, I have Pokemon news. Pokemon, got a Pokemon. Yeah, but this is a, we this is a weird one. And I wanted to share it with you because this is something you do not expect and yet apparently is a thing. I'm actually just going Did to... Did Nintendo start opening up sex hotels again? That is definitely not what happened. What has happened is that Pokemon and the Van Gogh Museum had entered a partnership back in September 2023. Uh, and basically, they had taken some of Van Gogh's famous portraits and some artists... Uh, had made Pokemon versions of Van Gogh's paintings that then went on display and then were also available as like cards if you purchased enough stuff in the Van Gogh Museum, which is fascinating because you get this little thing of uh, Pikachu in a gray felt hat, which of course is the uh, you know, version of, uh, obviously self-portrait with gray felt hat, as you can see there. Uh, and they were able to commission a few, uh, different artists that came in to make those paintings. Uh, one was, uh, Munchlax and Snorlax, uh, doing a version of the bedroom, and Sunflora for Sunflowers. The reason I think they did this was to encourage a younger audience to come into the Van Gogh Museum and to get interested in it. And as part of the partnership, a special Pokemon promo card and an exclusive range of Pokemon X Van Gogh Museum products was developed and the merchandise was available in the shop and web store. This was apparently quite popular. Popular enough that earlier this year uh, they were talking about doing a new round of this at Amsterdam's Van Gogh Museum. Um, and so it is looking like the uh, the limited edition items, these P Pikachu with fe gray felt hat cards, uh, could actually be back on the market from, well, this month onward, uh, and uh, will reportedly be available in the coming weeks at selected video game stores in the Netherlands. We so what go they've the gone and done is, <laughs> is produced uh, physical NFTs. They produce made with we we used to call them collectors cards back in the day. However, it's possible that only a handful of collectors will be able to get their hands on it. In fact, the card will apparently be offered free of charge to gamers who spend at least 30 euro on Pokemon merchandise, according to the specialist website Pokebeach. Uh, prospect of a potential return to the market of this collector's item has been greeted with great enthusiasm. Uh, in October, the Van Gogh Museum announced a, on the uh, FAQ page of its website that it will no longer be selling the Pokemon card Pikachu with gray felt hat. They made this decision after hundreds of gamers and collectors visited its store to try and buy one of the merchandising products combining the universe of the Japanese franchise and the Dutch painter. That has led us to take the great, the difficult decision to remove the Pikachu with gray felt hat promo card from the museum. In this way, visitors will be able to experience a special collection of Pokemon paintings and the rest of the museum in a safe and enjoyable manner, explained the Van Gogh Museum on its website. It added that... I, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> this is... This is... I... This is weird. I feel like looking at this. Yes. I know that somebody made this painting, yes. picture, whatever, of Pikachu in the felt hat, but uh, is this not exactly what people were bitching about AI doing? 
Uh, I don't know. Like, I understand, I understand the idea. Oh, thank you for posting the AI version of this. Because, because I literally just asked Crayon. Oh, yeah. To just make, like, Pokemon in the style of Van Gogh, and, like, this is what you can get. I Obviously. understand. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. That's great. It's not it's perfect, but I mean... I understand that, yeah. But I do think that, you know, it is still developed by actual artists that, you know, built built these. And so there is a collector. I mean, I could build in similar fashion if I really wanted to. I could take, a, you know, an AI program and try to say, make me a Van Gogh, but with with small yellow rat or something. And it will spit something back out at me. This uh, one is fantastic, and I'm going to share it. Okay, it's I, not what I asked it for, but it's a it's a variation, and you're gonna get it. I need to see this. <clears throat> what the hell is that? This is a llama in a field. This is a this is a starry llama night. You put a llama, okay, in a Van Gogh painting. Yeah, yeah, I uh, okay, great. I don't think that they would have had quite as much success with these. I'm. Not gonna lie, I, I think mostly because the Van Gogh Museum probably wants to say that an actual, like, a, an artist that they can reference has done the work, uh, and yeah. there, there obviously are, as many people would know, some nuances in an in, in an artwork that was painted by somebody. And oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. I'm not saying I don't appreciate the art. I'm saying right. this is literally what we ask people not to do with like AI. <laughs> or what people were like. I think it's Can't a, you just use AI. I think it's a little different. I think it's a little different when the museum themselves asks about it and partners with. Sure, I guess. Piece. I don't yeah. know. It's just a little strange to me. I understand. No, I I get where you're coming from. I think that it's a closer analog to like deviant art, you know, where people will make fan art of something. And, uh, and do it in a certain style, or change the style up, and say, hey, look at this cool thing I did. I don't really know why uh, someone thought that Pokemon would somehow translate well to Van Gogh. Um, you would think they would do it with, like, Among Us characters or something these days. <laughs> That's gonna be boring, though. The Among Us characters all look the same with different shading on it. You could... Yeah, well, you yeah. know. My question, though, that I have been trying to rectify since I saw this is, how would Van Gogh feel about this? I think Van Gogh would be kind of cool with this. I think he'd like this, because it's weird. I don't know, he might pluck out his eyes. Uh, yeah, well, it would match his ear. I don't know. I think that if, if you showed him uh, a picture of uh, an electric rat in a hat, he'd probably think that that was wild. I mean... Maybe? I, I like the model that they did. I mean, I might not like the model, but I understand the model of spending so much at the store and then you get a special promotional card as part no, of it. That's how you buy other things. Yeah. That way it itself doesn't have a monetary value. Right. Um, you just have to buy merch. So they're, they're getting a win out of it regardless at that point. The thing about that too is people who get their hands on it and keep it are just going to be like, oh yeah, well, you know, uh, Gonna just resell it later. It's now a collector's item. I'm trying to wrap my head around the idea of whether it's a good idea for, like, pop brands to do these kind of crossover promotional things with, with art museums. I understand the purpose of it because, frankly, I've been to plenty of art museums in the past and they are kind of boring and it would be interesting to see <laughs> something more... I, I don't think I've ever been to an art museum. You've never been to any art museum? I don't think so. You're not a, uh, a, a man of culture. As uh, not that culture. I have usually been uh, brought to art museums. I don't Sounds like a usually fascinating go. date idea. Here's an idea. Maybe you can put this in your little AI program. I want to see uh, Rockwell's Freedom of Speech, but with uh, Link or Star Fox. Star Fox as the guy standing up. With the, you know, the painting that they always reference? No. Oh. I, again, don't know art. <sighs> you don't know art. Well, then you're a perfect person to do AI art, Alex. You're the perfect yeah, person exactly. for prompts. I, I'm more of a fan of abstract art mm -hmm. than art that has deep meaning. You don't like deep meaning in your artwork. 
I uh, don't prefer looking at it, no. So when it comes to like museums and brands, this is actually something that has been going on for a little bit longer. Uh, back in 2019, the Louvre and uh, the rental platform Airbnb organized a competition offering oh, the winner a chance to <laughs> the chance to spend a night under the pyramid of the famous Parisian museum and they probably had a lot of cameras in there just in case you're wondering <laughs> to keep an eye on yeah. you, <laughs> you if you thought some art thief probably got it yes the lucky winner was able to dine at the foot of the Venus de Milo well they should have splashed it with their wine <laughs> you know okay so fun fact I, I know I know a lot of people get all upset about the a whole, like, throwing the soup cans on the artwork, but I do have to just tell people, that artwork is under glass. It was, it was all under glass, folks. That was actually one of the reasons why they were specifically targeted, because they will wipe it off, and there was just slight damage to the frames with, like, those paintings, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Brands are going to start integrating further and further with uh, the art community, and uh, right. and so you know before you know it, I'm thinking that we end up with like the Metropolitan Museum doing uh, a cross with like Pal World. Actually, no, MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, and Pal World, X Pal World. That's what I want to see. There you go. That would make sense. Perfect. And then, side note, I've shared a picture of an Eevee that's head has been replaced with sunflowers in the in the uh, theme of Van Gogh. Uh, so the the, the people that are listening to this will not get to enjoy this, but the people with the with with the video right now are wondering what the hell Alex was thinking when he did. When he put this prompt in, dare I ask, did you literally just ask it for Eevee but with Sunflower Head, or...? No, that's just something he came up with. Oh, good, because I would have thought it would be very weird for you to think of that on your own. Yep. What kind of brands and, uh, and museums would you like to see do a collaboration together? Are you looking forward to being able to finally pick up one of these Pokemon Van Gogh collector cards <laughs> no see i'd rather have like a man i'd rather have like a space organization team up with like no man's sky oh nasa x uh x no man's sky yeah the uh, like jpl x uh elite dangerous or something oh that would be cool that would be cool uh it would hey you know what it would be better than the games that nasa has tried to make themselves have they made games have yes go and look I think at there's that where they're on Mars, where they're on the moon, and you have to like repair the stations on the moon. That's a, that's a thing. I probably have sure. footage somewhere. <laughs> anyway, let us no, know. Well, they don't have the original moon landing footage, so why not? <laughs> that got destroyed. They don't want. To, they don't want to talk about. It. That's that's neither here nor there nor about anything game related. So, so let's just uh, move on to our next thing. 